And now let us pray. Praise be to you, O God, for the wonders of your creation. You spin the shining stars and stretch out the seas to the furthest horizon. You lift the curtain of dawn so light can chase away the night. You give the earth its seasons and each creature its lifespan, breathing life and love into each precious soul. And so we come to praise you. We come knowing human greatness is a mere shadow of yours. In this hour of worship, breathe your spirit into us once more to inspire us to serve you with creativity and commitment, with the honesty and humility we meet in Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you call us to walk your way in the world, to serve our neighbors and to love our enemies, but we confess these are not easy choices for us. We sometimes turn, turn a blind eye to a neighbor in need. We would rather follow the crowd than challenge popular opinions. Forgive us, Jesus. Forgive us for seeking an easier way rather than your way. Amen. Friends, God hears the cries of our hearts. God sees our actions. God knows our attitudes. In the midst of our sinfulness, God reaches out to us to heal us and forgive us. Sisters and brothers in Christ, receive this forgiveness which God offers to each one of us this day. God's grace be upon you. And for that we say, thanks be to God. Amen. Our reading today is taken from the book of Job, chapter 38, verses 1 to 7 and 34 to 41. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind, Who is this that darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up your loins like a man. I will question you, and you shall declare to me. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Tell me if you have understanding. Who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? On what were its bases sunk? Or who laid its cornerstone when the morning stars sang together and all the heavenly beings shouted for joy? Can you lift up your voice to the clouds so that a flood of waters may cover you? Can you send forth lightnings so that they may go and say to you, here we are? Who has put wisdom in the inward parts or given understanding to the mind? Who has the wisdom to number the clouds or who can tilt the water skins of the heavens when the dust runs into a mass and the clods cling together? Can you hunt the prey for the lion or satisfy the appetite of the young lions when they crouch in their dens or lie in wait in their covert? Who provides for the raven its prey when its young ones cry to God and wander about for lack of food? May God bless this reading and our understanding of it. Amen. Our children's hymn this morning is number 307, God of the Sparrow, God of the Whale. <laughs> 